Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games, where our board game playthroughs are always unpaid and ad free. I'm your host, Francis. And I'm Anthony. And today we're going to be taking you through Atelier, the painter's studio. The painter's studio. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this is a really, at its core, is an area control mm -hmm. uh, set collection game with some dice rolling for two to four players. It plays in about 30 minutes. Yeah. And, uh, and we're going to take you through it now. All right, so join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Welcome to our atelier. Our painter's studio. <laughs> yes. yes, it's a modest studio. <laughs> it is very modest right now. We don't have any paintings. So what yes. is atelier? It's a 19th century, uh, we're paint studios managing our assistants to go out and get us paint so that we can paint masterpieces. Correct. And um, we're painting all different kinds of masterpieces. All different I don't know kinds. what we're doing exactly. I don't know if we're like reproducing these. <laughs> I don't know if these are reproductions <laughs> because or these are Because there are original. real paintings that we're going to be painting. As Maybe we've gone back in time so. and we're the ones putting out these beautiful pieces Maybe, of art. Yeah. So uh, take a quick look at the table. We'll show you how the setup goes and we'll jump right to it. So this is Atelier. Uh, this is a, a game published by AEG, yep. which surprisingly enough has an uncredited designer. It we'll does, yeah. So yeah, usually we, we like to give props to the designer. But yeah, but it's very case, weird. It's like hard, to, hard to track that down. There's a whole yeah. list of playtesters and right? production yeah. effects, but no, no designer. But in any case, um, Atelier. So we have seven um, painting cards, uh, paintings really, uh, placed out in the offer, right? And four different supplies of paint color. So we're going to be moving workers out to each of these colors and in an attempt to sort of get paint so that we can paint the, the paintings. The paintings all have different requirements for what paint they require us to use. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be rolling dice and using them to take specific actions. Right. So the actions are quite simple and they're listed on the board. Uh, on a one or a two, we get to place a student from our I guess you call this a palette, right? Yeah. Uh, from our palette to any one of the four different offers or supplies for paint. Uh, on a three, we're going to be able to move students. You want to explain how to move students? Yeah, first? exactly. So we can move uh, zero to one students uh, from each player. Yeah. So we have the opportunity, for example, I could move some of your, well, one of your students mm -hmm. uh, as well as one of mine on my roll if that's what I chose to do. The reason why that's important is that we mentioned that this is kind of like an area control game mm -hmm. because when we go to the next uh, option, which is going to be rolling a five to our, I'm sorry, a, a four to collect paint. Mm -hmm. We can only collect paint from where we have the majority yes. of our students located. So we can't just pick paint from anywhere or just somewhere where we have um, students. Mm -hmm. so yeah, in a four really, player they're game, all kind of like fighting for you it. just have to be tied. But in yeah. two or three, you have to have majority. Yes. Um, and you'll take paint from every um, location where you do have majority. So it's, it's worth getting majority in yep. this before you actually collect. Uh, rolling a five is going to get you the ability to actually paint a painting, and then a six will let you just take one paint from any supply. So pretty simple. Um, the turn order is really um, use as many of the dice as you want in your turn and then pass. Yeah. And then when it gets back to you, you're going to re-roll whatever's left, take the rest of your actions. Once everybody's done using their dice, the, it's the end of the round. Mm -hmm. um, that's really it. We've each drawn, um, we picked from two patron deck cards. These yes. are sort of end game goals. Uh, we'll share those with you now so that you can see exactly. Oh, um, don't look at mine. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking. So you can see what I'm actually shooting for uh, to get some bonus points for this game. End game is triggered by the first time um, one of us paints three masterpieces. And masterpieces are indicated by these little star icons. They have just different borders on them. Yeah. And um, one thing to note with these paintings, they're all worth you know uh, various amount of victory points. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also parts of different sets, but we are also going to get the text on some, some of these. Passive yeah, kind of so there's system. some passive, some active, right? So like on this one, on your turns, your threes allow you to move one additional you know assistant. So these are all kind of powerful. So it's mm -hmm. good to get those and sort of build build your tableau up. Right. But that's it. Your player one. You're going to go ahead and start us off. So we'll, we'll roll our dice yeah. up. And get ready to kick off our turns. Ooh, look at that. I got a lot. This is not good. <laughs> yes, yeah, this isn't good at all. You don't want to roll high I early because you don't have any. Don't have anybody. Any paint. Oh, but first thing we have to do when we start is um, in reverse player order, we each place one of our workers out okay. on a color, and I will start with a worker there. Okay, and I will start with a person here. Yep. Uh, we also have these. Um, oh yeah, these are those inspiration too. tokens in the shape of a head. So what these do, these allow us to trade them in at any time. Uh, trading in one will let us to re-roll uh, a die. Trading in two will let us just paint a painting, as if you rolled a, a, a five. And throwing in three of them 
allows you to draw from the patron deck to get yourself some more uh, end game scoring abilities. And the way to get these is on your turn, you can just throw a die away. Use a die for nothing but other than to just collect one of these. Mm -hmm. So, perfect. Right. Are you ready to kick I us off? I am, yeah. Let's, I'll get started. So, this is my roll here. Um, this is pretty easy. I did roll a six, so I, get to, I can gain any one paint. Mm -hmm. And I will take. Um, maybe I'll take a green. Okay. Okay, so it's going to go there. Um, then you can, I can use as many paint. as you want. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I can collect paint, so I can use my four. And again, I'm only going to be able to collect where I, well, in this case, have presents, but also have the majority. So I'll take one from here for mm -hmm. yellow. And I have three move students. I have two threes, actually, but I only have one student out there. Mm -hmm. So I will choose to reroll these. So these are used. So you're going to pass. Yeah. Okay. So. I have a lot of terrible dice, so I'll use this two to place a student. Um, I'll place one here. And I'm going to just pass. All right. So I have to reroll. You have to reroll. And I got two threes again. <laughs> but now you actually have to use at least one of these dice. And like I said, you could always use, just use one to get an inspiration. If you don't want to uh, yeah, move. I could. Um, yeah, maybe I'll then. That's what I'll do. I'll just use this to get an inspiration. Right. I'll just sit out there. Assuming and, you're passing now. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. So a five, a three, and a one. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I'll use this one to place another worker out here, and I will pass. <laughs> a five. Oh, five. Paint a painting. Oh, I can paint a painting, and actually, I can paint a painting. So okay. I think I'll do that. So I, what I'm going to do now is spend this yellow and this green mm -hmm. to paint. Oh, I could actually pick from oh, two different ones. Two. So I can actually actually have the paint to paint young ladies of the village. Oh, well, that's very. And nice also painting. stacks of wheat at the end of summer. Yeah, but young ladies <laughs> of the village has cows. What? Oh, it does. It has cows. Oh, it totally does. Yeah, I don't like the stacks of wheat. Um, <laughs> Just stacks of wheat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, got, I got too much inspiration for that, so. Okay. Uh, I think I'll take Young Ladies of the Village. So when painted, starting with you, each player in turn order places one student, and then I get to place one additional student. Okay. So that's pretty cool. That's So these that's go neat. back. Yep. Um... And I have painted this. I guess I'll put this over here so you all can see. Mm -hmm. um, and I will place a student here. All right, I'll go. I'll go here. Okay, and I'll go here. All right. And this is used. So that's it. All right, my turn. Whoa, mm. two sixes. That's pretty good. That is pretty good, actually. So, oh, wait, I have to replace this. Yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, it's Joan of Arc. Oh, nice. So I will go ahead and I'll spend one to take... I'll take a yellow. And then I'll re-roll this, because you're done. Mm-hmm. Really? And I roll a <laughs> five, which I can't paint a painting, so I'm just going to spend it to get... Inspiration. Inspiration. All right, cool. And now um, we end the round. We roll, we roll all our dice. I become player one. Mm -hmm. And we continue. Continue. All right. Whoa. One, four. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to jump right in and I'll do one. I'll place a worker here. I will spend the four to collect. So I'm going to collect from here, here. And here, because mm -hmm. I have majority in all three locations. And then I can paint a painting. Hmm. Interesting. I will paint this simple mm. irises Irises. painting. That's going to cost me one green and one blue. Nice. And this is on your turns. My threes allow me to move one additional worker. Oh, that's great. So that's not a bad, not a bad painting to have. So I will take irises. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. So I have I have a six, so I can gain any one paint. Mm -hmm. And so I'll take one from here. And then I can collect paint. I have two fours, so I can actually collect paint. Twice, yeah. Twice. So you get two yellow paints. But I'm only there. That stinks. And I don't want to have to reroll these. Um, yeah, having to move your people around really stinks. You know? Mm-hmm. But that's fine. I'll just take two yellows for now. Probably not the best move, but... Oh, wait. I can place a student as well. Before you collect, you could do that. Yeah, yeah but I'm going to be... I'm still going to be tied to Yeah, it's not going to help It's you. not going to do anything. So, um, yeah, I'll just place this guy here. All right. Okay. I re-roll my five, and I get a one, so I can place another student. Right there. <laughs> get all these guys so out there. They are. All right, let's end the round. That's it. All right. So you are now player one. Roll the dice. And we are ready for the next round. This is so much easier than actual painting. It really is. <laughs> all right. So let me think what I want to do here. Um, I got two sixes and two threes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. So I can gain a lot of paint, um, and I can move some students. But I think I'll start by maybe collecting some, or not collecting paint, but gaining paint. Mm -hmm. So I will gain a blue paint, and I will gain somewhere where I, maybe I don't have people. Blue paint is so popular. It really, it's the place to be these days. It is days. the place to be. I'm going to take a green now. And then I'm going to I'm going to leave these. I'm not going to move anybody right now. Okay. So I'm going to start off by gaining some paint. Hmm. I'll take a green for now. Um, I'm going to paint a painting okay. as well. And I'm going to paint... Stacks of wheat? Stacks of wheat. <laughs> um... Yeah, I was thinking of it, but I maybe I'll paint. Friar Pedro? I might get Friar Pedro. That's not the entire title of a painting. No, That's it's Friar Pedro shoots title. El Margato, El Mar Maragato as his horse runs off. <laughs> it's like that's a very descriptive painting. It's like, but it's like showing you exactly what that is. He's like shooting him. Over, he's shooting him in the, in the buttocks. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so I will. Um, yeah, I don't know if I really want this one. Okay. I think I'll take this one, this red and okay. yellow. All right, so I'm going to paint the third class carriage. Nice. And on my turns, I gain one inspiration when I paint a one of these uh, wheat symbol paintings. Oh, that's nice. Including this one. Oh, okay. So, so you get one now. I get an inspiration Whoops. token. So I'm just, there you go. I'm just inspired by the third class <laughs> carriage. Um, Very nice. And I'm going to pass, pass so okay. you can go. All right. All right. So I can collect more paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I can paint any painting, which I do want to do. I'm wondering if I want to collect paint right now. <sighs> I guess I might as well. So I'll collect some paint. It just, you know what, the thing is, it just stinks to collect paint mm -hmm. when, you're my, when you're me and not you. <laughs> Oh, okay. Because you have like lots of majority, you're real spread out, you yeah. know, and I've really concentrated my people. You've been rolling a lot of ones and twos. That's the I problem. Have. That's You've okay. not. I've not been rolling yes. a lot of ones and twos. Um, 
Well, I'll start by painting a painting then, just get that out of the way. So I'm going to use two yellow and two blue mm -hmm. to paint Venice mm. from the porch of the Madonna della Salute, I think. Yeah, that is a masterpiece, actually. This is a masterpiece. But when painted, I get to draw one patron card, which oh, is pretty cool, too. Okay. Now, some of these cards also have, and they, not just the masterpieces, some of them, mm -hmm. like the one you were going to paint, require you actually to return a student back mm -hmm. to your supply. It's because they're super good paintings. They're all used up. They're like, I'm so it's tired. exhausted. So I'll take, uh, maybe I'll take this guy back. <laughs> all right. OK. And, and uh, these go back, and. Are you going to color? I get to draw this. Well, I... Oh. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Share, share with the home audience. I'm sure okay. they want to know oh, what you're doing here. Whoops. Can you see it? There you go. Um, and then, am I going to collect? Was that your next mm -hmm. question? Uh, no, I'm just going to wait to see if I can get somebody else out there. Okay. Two and a three. So, so like two really... can place a student. So might as well start working here. <laughs> and a three is move a student, huh? Interesting. So might as well do that. And I'm just going to move one student here. Mm. And then that's it. Kay. So your turn. Five. Five. Paint, paint painting. painting. I can't. All <laughs> right. So I'll just take some inspiration. Inspired. I Excellent. wish I could be inspired to move students. I know. To move students. Like, yeah, to move physically, them. Physically, not. really not moved these just, students. Just like moving them. Okay. Wow, these are bad. Did you take the first player? I did. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's some ones. I, I'm just like, I can sit here and just move people around, which is... Oh, yikes. ...really yeah. lame, because oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, because you already have majority everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to spend... I can reroll dice here. So I'm going to re-roll all my dice. So I'll spend this, okay. if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. This was just a really bad roll for me. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's, Look at that. What? That is That's insane. crazy. Like, so I have majority on everything right now. I know. So if I spend two of those, I get to collect two of each paint. I'm Wait, two that. of each? I'm doing it twice. Oh, yeah. For each one, I get to oh. get a paint, right? Two, 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 and two. Well that was played, a, sir. That was well a played. Really masterful play. <laughs> yes. Now I can move some people out, or I can paint a painting. I think I'm going to paint a painting because I have so many paints out. There's so many paints. Um, oh. Okay. What are you going to paint? I'm going to paint the Joan of Arc. Really? Yeah. Oh, so it's okay. going to cost me two blue and two green. So this is a masterpiece. So okay. I'm about to return. Yeah, return a, person. Um, a worker, so I'll take back this guy. And what does she do for you? Um, actually, no, I'll take back this guy. Doesn't matter. She, uh, on my turns, I may remove one worker to gain an inspiration. Okay. So that is that is it. I'm not going to place. So that was painting the painting. Um, I might as well pay, place a student hmm. on here. Oops. What are you doing? I'm placing a student oh. here. You're knocking over my people. And I'm actually done. You're done. Done. Okay. All right. Great. So I can place out two students, which is going to be helpful. Question is, where do I want to put them? Mm. I'm still going to end up like tied, you know what I mean, with you. Regardless of how I do this, which is frustrating. Put that there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, move. Students. Mm. Um, and I can move one of yours and one of mine. Correct. Correct. Okay. So I'm going to move you here. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to move this guy here. Okay. I think. And then now I'll collect paint. So now I can get one of these and one of these. Mm, good job. All right, cool. You are player one. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Interesting. Very. Now I'm getting your rolls, mm -hmm. and I'm okay with that. Getting people on the board. <laughs> yeah, finally. Um. All right. What do I want to do? Uh. What? What's up? Uh, I painted a wheat painting. I, I was actually supposed to get a. Oh. Okay. I forgot to collect my inspiration. It's inspired. You're so inspired. It's hard to remember to do these. Yeah, Special uh, always. It's mm -hmm. always you have to keep an eye on those things. Um, all right, so I have a one and a two, so I can place a student. And a three and a four. One and a two. two, and, a two. and I have two collect paints as well, so mm. I really have a, an opportunity here. For a power play. Uh-huh. Hmm. Thing is, I don't really like any of the paintings <laughs> out here. Um, all right. I'll just put a guy here, I guess, and a guy. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know because I could put these out somewhere else. Like, I could put them out here actually. And just tie it up. And just tie it up, mm -hmm. which is probably a better move. So I'll do that. And then I'll collect some paints so I can get two of each of these. Then. You can, yeah. Okay. So you're swimming in so blue and green. I'm swimming in blue and green paint. So <laughs> there's some blue and green paintings. Yeah. That's good. That's great. Your turn. Um, all right. So I'll put, might as well start getting some guys on the board for my one. Four lets me collect a yellow and a red. Mm -hmm. And then a six lets me collect a blue if I want one. And then paint a painting. I'm going to paint the centennial of independence oh, nice. for one of each color. Boom, 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 boom. That's good. And I have to send a worker back, so I'll send him back. But when painted, choose a color. F choose a color. So if I choose blue, uh -huh. for each of your paintings that uses that color, gain one paint of that color. So blue and blue. So I get two blue paints. Hmm. That's my reward. That's great. It's cool. That is cool. Mm -hmm. And did that one make you return anybody? And I did. You did. Okay. I did return. Yeah. Okay. I used all your dice. What? You used all I your did. Dice. Yeah. Good. This is quick. Yeah, this we're almost. We're like almost there. Quick. I've got two masterpieces done. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yikes. And I'm well on my way to number. Oh three. no! I know because you have like a thousand <laughs> paints. I sure do. <laughs> um. All right. Well, you're up. So. You're up. Go for it. Um. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint something. Dante's bark. I, I can't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't paint Dante's bark. That's like a, a terrible uh, thing. It's nine points it's worth, mm -hmm. but when you paint it, you have to draw a patron card, and then you have to put one of your patron cards at the bottom. So of you're the getting deck. rid of one. But I guess you could... I guess theoretically you could take the one that you drew. And you put could. It on the bottom. You could. So I'm going to spend three of my patron, uh, three of my inspiration uh -huh. to draw a patron card for myself because I would like. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that would have been helpful earlier. <laughs> uh, and I am going to. I'm going to go ahead and paint to start. And I'm going to paint yellow dancers in the wings. Okay. All right, it's another masterpiece. Oh, it's a Degas. It's a Degas. So I. When painted, you may immediately move all of your workers between paint piles. So 
Oh, nice. I can start shuffling. <laughs> you can really start screwing yeah, around so with stuff. I'll move one here. Mm -hmm. And I'll move one here. All right. And that's it. But I do get this because I painted the masterpieces first. I have all three done. Oh, you just painted I three? I just painted a third masterpiece. Oh, well, shoot. Yes. Yellow Dancers in the Wings to uh -huh. Joan of Arc and, and the, centennial the Centennial of Independence. Independence. Wow, I only painted two paintings. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you better get to I'm work. I'm very slow. Uh, okay. <laughs> my goodness. Okay. Um, <laughs> so let me go ahead and just take some paint. <laughs> Maybe I'll just paint some more stuff. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, I'm going to take some, maybe I'll take some blue. Why not? Okay. All right, and you can go. All right. I've got so much paint. I, know. I really well, have to. to paint because, it. so explain as I'm going, explain mm -hmm. how this works. Because you have painted your third painting, but that mm -hmm. doesn't mean the game's over. Okay, so go ahead right, and think so. about yourself. So okay. I'll, I'll take this moment to explain. Okay. So <clears throat> the painting of the third masterpiece earns you the master token, right? So it's worth four points. But that also indicates that we are in end game mode now. So we are going to finish this round. We are going to play one more round, and then we are going to score. Right. So, oh, do I really need all that blue and green? <laughs> you really pushed hard, area control wise, on blue and green. Well, because I needed it at the time. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um. You took up all the good paintings. Well, yeah, I painted them all. And you just tied everything up. Mm. Um, all right, well, let me just, I'll do this then. I'll just go here and I'll go here for those. Right? Mm -hmm. And then I will collect some paint. So this is the only two I have majority. Correct. Right now. And then I will paint a painting. And I will paint. I could feel I could paint wheat filled with cypress. That's a nice one. That's so nice. That's a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. Um, and that's pretty much it right now. But I think also what I will do, um, let me just do one less paint, your choice mm. of color when you paint each future painting. That would have been good early. That would have been really good early on. This is only worth a point. Mm -hmm. And it's like not super helpful right now. Yeah, it's like really not helpful. All right. Um, I guess I'm just going to go wheat filled with Cypress. Hmm. What does that one do? Um, when painted, choose one painting from the face-up paintings and set it aside. Only you may paint it. Oh, that's nice. Hey, it would have been nice earlier, too. Which one would you like? <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm wanting to keep. Can I draw a new one and see what comes out? I, no, I mean, I, I, no? I wouldn't make that one an option, no. You can draw it, but it doesn't mean that's the one you're going to put aside. Fine, I'm putting this one aside then. Yeah, that works for me. Woman bathing her feet in a brook Ew. and boating. Ah, I want I want boating. Look at okay. that guy. Yeah, he's he just look at, very happy to, as he's boating. And he's boating. Did you uh, pull a worker back? No. Oh. Um. Mm. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so I've got to try to collect some paint here, and I can't collect any paint. So what I'll do is I'm going to have to end my turn because I can't paint anything either. So I will cash in one of these for an inspiration. Wait a minute. Yeah. This is the last round, is it? No, we have one more. Okay. And then I'll re-roll. I got one, so I get to put out a worker. I'll oh, because you went first. Put them out. That's right. Here. Well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so now, well, it does. now it's end round. Yeah, I was trying to think in my head, how are you still going when you already painted? Because I didn't spend did all first. my dice. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. the first thing I did. Right. All right. For all the marbles. This is it, for all the paint. And all the paint in the Renaissance. Mm. And other time periods. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. So basically, I can just put a lot of people out, which isn't very helpful. And move, you can just do a whole lot of manipulation, which really, um, yeah. It's helpful and also not helpful. Um, but could be helpful. Hmm. This is tough, because you're really taking a gamble. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. On like, oh, I should put this over here, because I haven't really painted it yet. It's just kind of set aside, right? Mm -hmm. We could put it above or off the side. It doesn't matter, yeah, unless fine. you plan on painting it this round. Um, OK. I'm going to spend these two. Or do I want to move? It doesn't really matter. It's kind of like six of one, half a dozen of another. <laughs> I'm going to put a guy here, and I'm going to put a guy here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to save these two. Okay. I'm just going to cash one in for an inspiration, and then pass. Okay. Your turn. It's so nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. It's like more nerve-wracking than real painting. Than real painting. But the outcome is better. Oh, there you go. Uh, not exactly what I wanted, though. Um, all right, so I can collect paint. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's huge. That is huge. Um, I'm going to get, in this case, a blue and a yellow, right? A blue and a yellow. That's right. Mm. <laughs> I just want to do everything. And you can't. And I can't. There's just not enough time. All right. Blue. Yellow. All right. I'm going to wait. You're going to wait. All right. Wait. Am I going to wait? <laughs> yes. Okay. I She's think. waiting. Wait a minute. Let me see that. <laughs> oh, actually, I want to claim another... Paint. Okay, claim your paint. I'm just going to claim a this paint, this red paint. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going, oh, but then I can't. Ah, I can't do both. Can't paint I two can't paintings. paint two paintings, can I? Nope. Unless you had four inspiration tokens. And I, unless I had four inspiration tokens, mm -hmm. oh, but I don't, because I would have Correct. uncashed that. Oh, that sucks. So it's not really worth, it's not really worth doing that then, right? Taking that paint? Yeah. Probably not. Well, you're trying to hope to roll a five, I'm assuming, so you can get the free paint. Well, yeah. I want the free paint. Okay. Well, then hold. All right. So here we go. I'm going to put someone out. I'll put one here. And I'm going to move. Now I get to move three people because one of mine lets, lets me move an extra person, one of my paintings. Okay. Flexing on your, so I'll on go your painting. One, which means I you get to move two of yours and one of mine at most. One, two of yours, and one of mine. Why is that? Boom. Oh, because you did. I have a painting here that says on, on your t on threes, right. when you roll threes, allow you to move one additional painter. 
Oh, okay. Which I did. So yeah. I moved, instead of moving just one of each, I right. moved one, one and then one additional, yeah. which I just chose to move one of yours. Now I collect. I'm going to collect from here, from here, and from here. Mm -hmm. And good. now I'm going to spend my two inspiration tokens to paint one painting. Okay. And that'll finish me out. So I will go and paint Paris Street Rainy Day. <laughs> okay. Two and two. Yeah. Right. Oh, and, and you one get over. one of these, right? Um, when painting, gain that for each of your thing paintings, and I have two, so I get two inspirations. Oh, you get one for that one as well. Yeah. Okay. Two inspirations. You're inspired by your your own just painted painting. Yeah. <laughs> You're just standing back looking at it like, oh, it's a nice painting. Which is a shame I didn't have enough paints to do one more painting. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? Yeah. Just off. Oh, okay. Mont Saint Victorier. A four? Oh, like paints. That's not what I wanted. Hmm. That's really not what I wanted at all. So I can re-roll, right? Like I can spend this to re-roll. Unless what you're trying to do is is paint two paintings, I ca I can't paint two paintings with what paint you have. I can't, I can't, I can't do anything. Why can't you paint two? Well, I can't paint two paintings because I don't have the ability to paint two paintings. If you have four inspiration, you do. You can trade can that trade in that for in. one inspiration and then have enough to paint oh, two paintings. Yeah, Why wouldn't you just right. do that? Oh, but because because I don't have enough paint to paint two paintings. You do, just not probably the two you want. No, I don't. What you couldn't paint. These two? Oh, but I wanted to paint boating. I, like I said, the two you want. <laughs> <laughs> and in the other game. <laughs> yes, so you can't. You could paint that and something else. I can paint that else. and something else. Yeah, I mean, well, All actually, right, that you paint that first and it I gives know, you and a then discount. I can get a discount. So, okay, uh, fine. You've talked me into it. I'm just giving you options here. I appreciate of, it. Instead of the gamble of rolling for a five, <laughs> like that wasn't going to happen. Yes, I know. All right, so two paintings. Let's see what I can do here. Um, what do I have? So I could, if I did this, I'll just move these here as like a hypothetical, okay. right, into this teal spot right here. Um, that would allow me to use one less paint. Yeah, here. I can't see. This allows me to use one less paint when I paint a future painting. Mm -hmm. And now I have a blue, a green, and a yellow left. So I could do stacks of wheat. You could do that without the discount. Oh, right. Oh, where I could do you could oh, actually, one of your non-masterpiece paintings. That's pretty good. You could paint Friar Pedro. He's worth one point for every masterpiece. Yeah. Non-masterpiece, if you have a lot of non-masterpiece. I, I know, but I, don't, I only yeah. have like three if I do him. Yeah, so you, I mean, you can paint a few of, the other, of these, but I don't I think do your discount's going to help you. Yeah. I would just go yeah, the points. discount is not really going to help, but yeah. that's okay. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You could paint him, or you could paint these two, mm -hmm. worth six points. Right. Versus these two, which are worth four points, right? I know. Well, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty much the same. Oh, for other reasons. But, but actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, this may be better actually to do the card players and the stacks of wheat. Mm. That stacks of wheat has been sitting out there <laughs> this whole time. It's been just wanting to be painted. Just wanting to be painted. I've been ignoring it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll just move this to the side. So I'll no into the all very nah, no, not no, happening. No, it's not going to happen, but that's all right. I'll just paint these two guys. They're right. fantastic paintings. A Paul Cezanne and a Claude Monet. That's great. That ends the game. And it does end the game. I'm interested to see where this ends up. So let me let me put my paint away here that I took. That you used? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, see where we're at here. Okay. So we can actually move Why are you these. fanning out your paintings like, <laughs> look at my paintings? <laughs> Why not? It's like, this is, a, this is how an art studio runs. This is like big. All your fakes. All my fake <laughs> art. <laughs> fake my art. counterfeit art. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're way below the line here. 
I guess I can move my palette, right? Yeah, nobody needs to see that anymore. Nobody needs to see that mess. Okay. And we can reveal our our card. So basically, scoring is so simple in this game. Yep. It's literally just the points on your on your paintings, any um, patron bonuses, mm -hmm. and your masterpiece bonus. So yeah. What do you got? All right. So let's see. We've got. Let's see. None of these are worth anything end game. So we'll say ten. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm -hmm. Then I have my first patron card is worth one mm -hmm. <laughs> because of this <laughs> leaf, which I was going to try to do that leaf, but then you start taking all the leaves. Oh. Um, and then two VP for each painting that costs exactly two paint. Oh. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten on top of that. So That's four paint. That's four paint. What? Two paints. One. Oh, two. no. I thought it, said, I thought it meant paint colors. Oh, no. Like two splotches of paint. No, how many paints? Two paints. Oh, that's pretty rotten. Because, like, almost all the paints in the game are two paints. There's very few that are three oh. and four. Well, darn it. Well, that's still worth six okay. points, right? Yeah. So I guess it's a 28. So, six, yeah, 20 plus six plus one. Yeah. 27. Okay. Uh, so I've got 10, 15, 17, 24. One point for each painting that uses blue paint. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Mm -hmm. And one point, uh, oh, and I need that symbol. And I have one, two, right? two of those symbols. So that's worth three points. 32 plus four is 36. Wow. Okay, cool. So that is it. Atalia. You smoked me. Let's go talk about it. Okay. All right, so you, you joined us on our journey in <laughs> the train. Atelier Painter Studio. It went about as well as if we really ran Paint Studios. Yeah, I had I actually because. a really good run of dice that game. Normally, I don't get yeah. um, I had an early run on area control yes. and was able to collect on a massive amount of paints that, that got me on the board. Right. Um, it's a short game. It is a very it's a very short game, and it's um, it, it is a little, like it's a little bit swingy, of I guess. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of to be expected. It's a dice game. Yep. Um, but I do it. It really does kind of hit that um, like satisfying need for luck that mm. you feel like you can mitigate, yeah. but maybe not as much as you want to. Sort of. It's very chancy. It is, but so. not not in like you do have mitigants, and there's you do. A, there's a lot of ways to get around right. it, and and I think those. Um, Inspiration tokens are really what would do that for you. Uh -huh. um, but I, again, if if you're lucky with, with the, the exception of moving people around, dice, that's yeah. the one thing that you really can't mitigate as much. True. I think strategy wise, like if you can get a painting painted that allows you, like this one that I didn't get to paint because mm -hmm. it came out later, um, that lets you use like one less paint. Right. Um, is great. Uh, but it's interesting. How we were talking about this, I think, before we started playing this, before we started filming this, mm -hmm. and it's interesting how it is area control right. in a way um, for like a painting game that you feel like it's probably kind of weird. It should just be like I, we don't, we're not really sure what that represents. Yeah, <laughs> so it's kind of like, lining up at the paint store, being like, no, I no, feel no, like no. that's what it is. You like maybe they're just like you can't have they're the green just paint. like muscling their way in to get green paint or yeah. something. I don't know. I don't really know. Yeah, that but. part, that, for me, thematically, that doesn't really tie in yeah. with the whole theme of the game. Right. Like, it doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Yeah. I will say, it's kind of, um, just from like a in, like an experience standpoint, and I, I hate to say this because I don't want to make it sound like cheesy, because this is not a cheesy game, mm -hmm. but it reminds me of like the grown-up version of that Bob Ross game that we got a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily classify that Bob Ross game as cheesy. And I'm not classifying it as cheesy, but I'm it saying It is the like, more refined version of that. Yes. But... But it's in the same kind of vein where you're collecting paints, painting paintings. True. Um, but in a very different style or manner, in yeah. a way. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, I what I really did like about this is that um, it, you, it has all the historical context, too. So you mm -hmm. actually have the names of the paintings and the... A respective um, artists listed. That's, some would call edutainment. This edutainment. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. I do enjoy that. I do love I like a good board game yeah. that teaches you something along the way. I like think there's um, a lot of value in that. I know. Like, like wingspan. I learned so much about birds. About birds. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, <laughs> um, so we ramble on, but. There you go. There's the playthrough. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, we, we certainly enjoyed this game. It's a really quick, 
um, pickup game that you can um, kind of really scratch a lot of different niches in. Yeah, yeah. I think so. All right. So if you enjoyed the playthrough and you'd like to see more, please join us on our channel on Ant Lab Games on YouTube. We'd be happy to uh, show you more. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.